Hello friends, I welcome you all to my YouTube channel SS Hub for Fundas and Concepts. Our today's topic is weather, climate and adaptations of animals to climate. Do you remember the things that you were asked to pack when you were heading for a hill station? When the sky is cloudy, your parents insist that you carry an umbrella. Have you heard elders in your family discuss the weather before planning a family function? You must have also heard the experts discussing the weather before the start of a game. Have you ever wondered why? Because the weather has profound effect on the game. It has profound effect on our lives. Many of our daily activities are planned based on the weather predicted for that day. There are daily reports of the weather on the television and radio and in the newspapers. But do you know what is weather really is? In this chapter, we will study about the weather and climate. We will also see how different forms of life are adapted to the climate of their habitat. Weather. We find that the daily weather report carries information about the temperature, humidity and rainfall during the past 24 hours. It also predicts the weather for that day. Humidity as you might know is a measure of the moisture in air. The weather reports are prepared by the meteorological department of the government. This department is responsible to collect data on temperature, wind etc and make a weather prediction. Rainfall is measured by an instrument called the rain gauge. It is basically a measuring cylinder with a funnel on top to collect rainwater. Do all the seven days have same maximum and minimum temperatures, humidity and rainfall? The maximum and minimum temperatures recorded may be the same for some of the days. However, all the parameters are not the same on any two given days. Over a week, there may be considerable variation. The day-to-day -day condition of the atmosphere at a place with respect to the temperature, humidity, rainfall, wind temperature, humidity, etc. is called the weather of that place. The place, temperature, humidity and other factors are called elements of the weather. The weather of a place changes day after day and week after week. The weather is such a complex phenomenon that it can vary over very short periods of time. It can happen sometimes that it is sunny in the morning but suddenly clouds appear from nowhere and it starts raining heavily. Or a rain may vanish in matter of minutes and give way to bright sunshine. The maximum temperature of a day occurs generally in the afternoon while the minimum temperature occurs generally in the early morning. So you can now understand that why in summers we feel so miserable in the afternoon and comparatively comfortable early in the morning. What about the times of sunrise and sunset? You know that in winters it becomes dark early and you do not get much time to play. Are the days shorter in winter than in summer? Try to find it by yourself by completing an exercise by observing the day in a winter and a summer. Climate Meteorologists record the weather every day. The records of weather have been preserved for the past several decades. These help us to determine the weather pattern at a place. The average weather pattern takes over a long time, say 24 years it is called climate of the place. If you find that temperature as a place is high most of the time, then we say that the climate of the place is hot. If there is also heavy rainfall on most of the days in the same place, then we can say that the climate of the place is hot and wet. Climate and adaptation. Climate has a profound effect on all living organisms. Animals are adapted to survive in the conditions in which they live. 
Animals living in very cold and hot climate must possess special features to protect themselves against the extreme cold or heat. Features and habits that help animals to adapt to their surroundings are a result of the process of evolution. In the coming chapters, you will learn about the effect of weather and climate on soil. But in this chapter, we will study the effect of climate on animals only. Previously, you have read about adaptations of animals to certain habitats. As examples of adaptation of animals to climatic conditions, we discuss only animals living in polar regions and tropical rainforests. As the name suggests, the polar regions are situated near the poles, that is North Pole and South Pole. Some well-known countries that belong to the polar regions are Canada, Greenland, Iceland, Norway, Sweden, Finland, Alaska in USA and Siberian region of Russia. Examples of some countries where the tropical rainforests are found are India, Malaysia, Indonesia, Brazil, Republic of Congo, Kenya, Uganda and Nigeria. The Polar Regions The polar regions present an extreme climate. These regions are covered with snow and it is very cold for most part of the year. For six months, the sun does not set at the poles while for the other six months, the sun does not rise. In winters, the temperature can be as low as minus 37 degrees centigrade. Animals living there have adapted to these severe conditions. Let us see how they are adapted by considering the examples of polar bears and penguins. Polar bears have white fur so that they are not easily visible in the snowy white background. It protects them from their predators. It also helps them in catching their prey. To protect them from extreme cold, they have two thick layers of fur. They have also a layer of fat under the skin. In fact, they are so well insulated that they have to move slowly and rest often to avoid getting overheated. Physical activities on warm days necessitate cooling. So the polar bear goes for swimming. It is a good swimmer. Its paws are wide and large which help it not only to swim well but also to walk with ease in the snow. While swimming underwater, it can close its nostrils and can remain underwater for long durations. It has a strong sense of smell so that it can catch its prey for food. Another well-known animal living in the polar region is the penguin. It is also white and merges well with the white background. It also has a thick skin and lot of fat to protect it from cold. You may have seen pictures of penguins huddled together. They do this to keep warm. Recall how warm you feel when you are in a hall full of people. Like polar bears, penguins are also good swimmers. Their bodies are streamlined and their feet have webs, making them good swimmers. Other animals living in polar regions are many types of fishes, musk, oxen, reindeers, foxes, seals, whales and birds. It is to be noted that while fish can remain under cold water for long, birds must remain warm to survive. They migrate to warmer regions when the winter sets in. They come back after the winter is over. You know probably that India is one of the destinations of many of these birds. You must have seen or heard about the Siberian crane that comes from Siberia to places like Bharatpur in Rajasthan and Sultanpur in Haryana and some wetlands of northeast and some other parts of India. The Tropical Rainforests The tropical region has generally a hot climate because of its location around the equator. Even in the coldest month, the temperature is generally higher than about 15 degrees centigrade. During hot summers, the temperature may cross 40 degrees centigrade. Days and nights are almost equal in length throughout the year. These regions get plenty of rainfall. An important feature of this region is the tropical rainforests. Tropical rainforests are found in the Western Ghats and Assam in India, 
Southeast Asia, Central America and Central Africa. Because of its continuous warmth and rain, the region supports wide variety of plants and animals. The major types of animals living in the rainforests are monkeys, apes, gorillas, lions, tigers, elephants, leopards, lizards, snakes, birds and insects. The climatic conditions in rainforests are highly suitable for supporting an enormous number and variety of animals. Since the numbers are large, there is intense competition for food and shelter. Many animals are adapted to living on trees. Red-eyed frog has developed sticky pads on its feet to help it climb trees on which it lives. To help them live on the trees, monkeys have long tails for grasping branches. Their hands and feet are such that they can easily hold on to the branches. As there is a competition for food, some animals adapted to get food not easily reachable. A striking example is that of a bird toucan, which possesses a long large beak. This helps a toucan to reach to the fruits on the branches, which are otherwise too weak to support its weight. Many tropical animals have sensitive hearing, sharp eyesight, thick skin and a skin color which helps them to camouflage by blending with the surroundings. This is to protect them from predators. For example, big cats like lions and tigers have thick skins and sensitive hearing. The lion-tailed macaco lives in the rainforests of Western Ghats. Its most outstanding feature is the silver-white mane which surrounds the head from the cheeks down to its chin. It is a good climber and spends a major part of its life on the tree. It feeds mainly on fruits. It also eats seeds, young leaves, stems, flowers and buds. This bird ape also search for intact insects under the bark of the trees. Since it is able to get sufficient food on the trees, it rarely comes down onto the ground. Another well-known animal of Indian tropical rainforest is the elephant. It has adapted to the conditions of rainforests in many remarkable ways. Look at its trunk. It uses it as a nose because of which it has a strong sense of smell. The trunk is also used by it for picking up food. Moreover, its tusks are modified teeth. They can tear the bark of trees that elephant loves to eat. So, the elephant is able to handle the competition for food rather well. Large ears of the elephant help it to hear even very soft sounds. They also help the elephant to keep cool in the hot and humid climate of the rainforest. Interesting facts. Some migratory birds travel as much as 15,000 kilometers to escape the extreme climatic conditions at home. Generally, they fly high where the wind flow is helpful and the cold conditions allow them to disperse the heat generated by their flight muscles. But how these birds travel to the same place year after year is still a mystery. It seems that these birds have a built-in sense of direction and know in which direction to travel. Some birds probably use landmarks to guide them. Many birds may be guided by the sun during the day and stars at the night. There is some evidence that the birds may use the magnetic field of the earth to find direction. And it is not only birds that migrate, mammals and many types of fish and insects are also known to migrate seasonally in search of more hospitable climates. I thank you for your listening and please stay tuned to this channel for more updates. Cheers.